Hello everybody, today we're going to be exploring Istanbul, let's start. Contents, we're going to be, learning, we're going to be doing all these locations today, let us start. Few facts about Istanbul, Istanbul's original name was Byzantium. The primary language of Turkey is Turkish, but English is commonly used in Istanbul. Simit, sis, kebab, pide, iseli kofte are some of the famous food of Istanbul. Football is the most famous sport in Istanbul. Istanbul is also known as the city of cats. Istanbul is the world's only city situated on both the European and Asian continents. Istanbul flag is red flag featuring a white star and croissant. This is the um, this is the flag right here. The, this is the star and this is the croissant moon. Let us keep going. Hagia Sophia. It is commonly known to be one of history's best and most Georgian structures. It is recognized for its architecture. Hagia Sophia has a total of 104 pillars. The walls are decorated with Georgian mosaics. The windows of Hagia Sophia are very famous. White, pink, and yellow marble were used to construct this beautiful place. The ma magical light that shines around Hagia Sophia has made it remarkable. This is a picture of Hagia Sophia. A lot of people go here. You can see people taking pictures and all because they're beautiful lights at night. And there are, they said it's built by 104 pillars, the whole Hagia Sophia. Uh, and that's it. Let's keep going. The Galata Tower. This place is one of the most visible attractions. The Galata Tower is famous for its stunning look at night. The Galata Tower is one of Istanbul's top places for a Georgia's view of the city. The Galata Tower is the city's wall, city wall's tallest point. We can enjoy the beautiful view of the Golden Horn from the tower. There is a restaurant which presents a show featuring Turkish folk dance and a belly dancing in the evenings. This place is an excellent shop shopping location. So you can see the Galata Tower big and this is like a shopping location. So that's the Galata Tower right there. And there's, there's so much shopping to do here. And this is how it looks close up. Looks beautiful. Let us keep going. Blue Mosque. Blue Mosque is also known as the Sultan Ahmed Kami. It is opened all year except at prayer times when it is closed for 90 minutes. The lowest floor tiles are classical in style. The Blue Mosque is one of the three mosques in Turkey with six minarets. It is regarded as one of Istanbul's most popular tourist destinations. Blue Mosque has 260 stained glass windows. This is the Blue Mosque. There are three mosques in Tur Turkey like this, and this is one of them. Let's keep going. Grand Bazaar. It is one of the biggest markets in the world. There are over 4,000 shops in the Grand Bazaar. Gold jewelry is available at all a slightly cheaper rate in the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar is in Istanbul is famous for selling sp spices, ceramics, and carpets. Except on Sundays and holidays, the Grand Bazaar is open every day. Visitors who want to shop here can ne nego negotiate to the best. This is the shopping area. And there are 4,000 shops at the Grand Bazaar. And... The, all of these shops are closed on Sundays. That's the cool part. That's not actually that's not good because if everybody, if everybody is not like not coming on Sunday, it might it might be bad because some people have to come on Sunday, and if they haha <laughs> they can't. That's funny. Okay, let's keep going. Topak, top copy place palace. 
The view of the Golden Horn from the palace is amazing. A five-kilometer-long wall surrounds the palace. Top Copy Palace is what the, is the world's biggest palace. Top Copy Palace is presently Istanbul's most visited museum, with a, approximately three million tourists each year. Top Copy Palace con, contains the best quality handcraft insk tiles. Look at that. It's so good. And you can see there's so many people down there. A lot of people. So there might be a... I, I think... I guess there might be a lot of people in the tower. In the castle. Palace. Let's keep going. Eyup Sultan Mosque. It is near the Golden Horn. Eyup Sultan Mosque is a highly important mosque for Muslims. Many beautiful Asian tiles cover the monument. The mosque does not charge an entrance fee. The p palace placement of this tomb within the mosque compl complex gives this a popular and well-known tourist destination. Yup Sultan Mosque is a place of worship. A cafe with beautiful views of gold of the Golden Horns is located at the top of the hill. This is the mosque of Yup Sultan Mosque. Yeah, I can give you a minute to look at this picture. Okay, let's keep going. Emergon Park. The park is situated on a former estate. The primary attraction in Emergon Park is the Tulip Festival. In April, when the tulips grow, it's quite beautiful to come. Ismail Akar's art is on show in a beautiful gallery. This is one of the late largest parks in Istanbul. The park's picnic spaces make it a popular weekend attraction. This is the picture of Emirgan Park. They said in the spring when the flowers bloom, the place looks more beautiful. And this is, I, I think this might be in the spring. You can see that beautiful waterfall coming down there and there's like a man, there's not a man-made bridge. This is like, by nature, this is the bridge. You can just walk over it. I, it might even break, I don't know. But if it is not, that's good. Let's go next. Dome Pants Palace. The Dome Pants Palace was the imperial home of the Ottoman, Ottoman, Ottoman Empire's final six sultans. The Dome Pants Palace is known as one of the most luxurious and beautiful palaces. The palace is quite similar to the Versailles Palace in Paris. You can only access the palace if you take a guided tour. Fourteen tones of gold leaf were used to cover the walls. Dome Balance Palace is Turkey's biggest palace. That is a big palace, a very big palace. And you can see direct in front of the palace, there's a big, oh, like a river or ocean, or a, even might even be a lake. And then behind the palace, you can see different, different buildings down there. It's a beautiful sight. Let's keep going. Bosphorus Strait. The Bosphorus Strait separates Europe from Asia. The strait sides are highly crowded. The strait is also crossed by bridges that connect the two continents. With numerous com com chimerical ships and oil tankers, this is a highly active waterway. The Yeh House or Villa, built on the water's edge in Istanbul, is the Bo Bosphorus Hallmark. The Bosphorus Strait boats are regarded as one of Istanbul's mo most beautiful attractions. This is Bosphorus Strait. This is, looks very beautiful. And you can see a lot of, I think there's a harbor somewhere here. And there's so many ships. Beautiful sight. Let's keep going. Rustem Pasa Mosque. The lovely potted plants in the courtyard add, add to the attraction of the area. This mosque is well known for its significant use of insect tiles. In the evening, the mosque is beautifully lit up. The mosque is a genie religious center. Excuse me. It's been compared to a small blue mosque.
Without the people, the mosque's octangle fountain is situated in a street-facing courtyard. Let's keep going. This is the picture of it. Rustem Mas Pasa Mosque. This is a very good mosque. Let's keep going. Basilia Basilka Sistrain Yeri Batan Sarniki Sarnisi. This place is Istanbul's most famous and unique tourist attraction. It is one of Istanbul's most surprising tourist attractions. This is the largest underground water tank. The Emperor's residence was supplied with water from the big tank. There is a slow, constant flow of water all around there. Hundreds of marble columns are there in this place. The columns are wonderfully lightened. This is the Basila Sistain Yerbatan Sarnisi. It looks beautiful. I'll give you a minute to look at this picture because even I'm impressed. Okay, let's keep going. Istanbul Archaeology Museum. Istanbul's archaeological museum is the city's famous museum. The, the ceramic art of this museum is beautiful. There are three museums in this building. The Museum of Archaeology, the Ancient Orient, and the Tower Pavilion. It has nearly one million objects that cover all of history's ages and civilizations. This place is a collection of prehistoric Greek, Roman, and Biotamese antiqu antiquities. This is the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. And then this is how it looks from the outside. And then we don't have a picture of the inside, but we have the picture of the outside. Let's keep going. Chora Church. This church is well known across the world for its beautiful 14, 14th century mosque. It is a former Vietnamese church. It is also known as the Kyrie Mosque. It has some of the world's most important rich holy cycles, including mosaics and paintings. Chora Church was transformed into a mosque in 1511. In 1945, the Cairo Mosque was previously known as the Church of the Holy Sevier in Chora, was converted into a museum in 2020. It was converted in it was converted into mosque. This is a Chora church. This is, looks beautiful. And in 2020, now it is a mosque. About one year ago. Yeah, one year ago. Okay, let's keep going. Spice Bazaar. It is also known as Mystery Kasiri. It is Istanbul's aromatic bazaar. Here you can find a Turkish delight, silk scarves, dried herbs, honey nuts and dried fruits, saffron trees and dry apricots. There are no entry fees for this place. This bazaar was made by taxes placed on Egyptian imports. This is the spice bazaar. There are different different types of spice and different things. Let's keep going. And this is the end of our thing. These are all links which is on our website, Exploring Journey. Please subscribe to our channel. Write in the comments below how you feel about these videos. And share these videos to other people. Thank you. Bye.